Hello, Math 151. Let's find out d dx of sine inverse of x. So d dx of sine inverse of x. Okay. Uh, so we know that when we are talking about sine inverse of x, we are talking about some angle. So let y, some angle name y equals sine inverse of x. Okay, so this means that sine of y equals x. So if I do have some angle, let's call it y. And by definition, sine is the side opposite over hypotenuse. So this is x, this must be one, and that leaves me the adjacent with uh, one minus x to the second. So now if I take the derivative implicitly from both sides, I get cosine of y, y prime equals one. So y prime equals one over cosine of y. And what is cosine of y? Cosine of y is side adjacent over hypotenuse. So right here, hypotenuse is one, so this implies that y prime equals one over square root of one minus x squared. And here we, with the understanding that x cannot equal, x cannot equal plus and minus one because I cannot have zero in the denominator. Okay, let's go ahead and show the d, dx of cosine inverse of x. So um, d dx of cosine inverse of x. Following the same logic, we're talking about cosine inverse, so we are talking about some angle. Let's call it y, y equals cosine inverse of x. So dy, well, this means, first of all, this means that cosine of y equals x. So if this is my angle y right here, by definition cosine is side adjacent over hypotenuse. So this leaves my opposite side with one minus x squared. Taking the derivative of left hand side, I have minus sine of y, y prime equals one. So y prime equals minus one over um, sine of y. But what is sine of y? Sine of y is side opposite or hypotenuse, in this case one. So this equals minus one over square root of one minus x squared. With the understanding that x cannot equal plus or minus one, because I cannot have a zero in the denominator. Okay, um, and let's now do the tangent inverse. Suppose I have, I wanna show that d dx of tangent inverse of x. Okay, once again, same method. We are gonna say let y equals tangent inverse of x. So this means that tangent of y equals x. So taking the derivative of tangent of y, I have secant squared of y, y prime equals one. So y prime equals one over secant squared of y. Okay, so once again, look at, you know, let's have a triangle right here. Right kind of like to do that. If this is my y, I know that tangent of y equals x. And by definition, tangent is side opposite or adjacent. So this leaves me here with square root of one plus x squared. Okay, so y prime, let me, so y prime equals uh, one over, what is, uh, secant. Secant is one over cosine. So I have, 
and cosine in this case is square root of one plus x squared. Okay, and now remember that we have this to the second power right here. I have secant to the second power. So now y prime equals one over one plus x squared. And in this case, I don't have any restriction. There's nothing we can do to make the denominator zero. I will continue in a different video with the uh, ddx of um, secant inverse, uh, cosecant inverse, and cotangent inverse. All right, thank you.